you know, I, I don't really have a favorite thing. It's, I, I'm, we're all so close to the movie, it's hard to look at it and not see things that you think, oh, I wish I, wish I could have done that or this, that better. But uh, the thing is, uh, I, I, part of the, the first thing that came to mind, and I'll, I'll try to be really quick, is uh, this weird sort of uh, ephemeral thing that is just this feeling that was Star Wars that I just hadn't felt in a long time. And it was the thing that we talked about in our very first meeting, and I think with all the incredible artists uh, and, and filmmakers, designers, storytellers, all these people who worked on this movie, and there are literally, as you saw, thousands of people, um, everyone uh, worked so hard to give this place a worn in, lived in uh, you know, history and a feeling of, of authenticity and tangibility. So, that we could shoot in Abu Dhabi, we could film in the, you know, in Ireland and in these forests in Wales and these places that you just knew you were really there. And it just, it let you get past that and it made the fantasy authentic. And that's what I felt so strongly when I was 10 and, and saw the first film. Um, and the only other thing I was gonna say, which is my second, uh, my other knee jerk reaction, was um, Harrison Ford. And I just feel like he makes it look so easy but to come back and not just sort of show up and be in another movie, but to be Han Solo again, the way he did, and to be Han Solo 30 years later, it, it was, on the set, it was incredible to see. And he really works so hard, but makes it look like he's just getting out of bed and doing it. And it, it was just, a, I'm every day, you know, working on this movie, I was amazed at just the power of his presence. And he's just a, you know, a, a gift to all of us, I think. Yeah. I think that, that, that's really on screen. There's almost this kind of 